Konnichiwa! What's going on guys? This is day three of me trying to learn Japanese. I always um, always get mind blocked when I start these videos because I don't feel very confident in front of a camera and I'm hoping this will also help me improve confidence in front of a camera. What are you doing boy? And this is my dog, if you can see him. He's missing his mum and his dad. Because they're down in Wales, aren't they, boy? Look at the camera. No. He, has, he doesn't have brain cells. He is very, very, very dumb, but also very cute. So he gets away with it. So I've been trying to learn today. But it being the weekend and this being a semi-detached house. Semi-detached too. I've got another house joined on to me, and it's just two houses. My neighbours, frankly, they're assholes. They have no respect for people, and their children have no respect for people either. And that's the dog. So, they're very, very noisy when they're out. Generally only on the weekends and when they're back from school. But, the child's room is direct, well they have three children, one of their rooms obviously is directly attached to my room, it being a council house, it is very very thin walls and you can hear everything. You can hear crying, you can hear talking, you can hear playing, you can hear, well obviously you can hear stomping, because, and bangs on the wall. For some reason their children seem to just like tap on the wall, just to piss me off. So it makes it very very hard to just sit down and focus on learning what you want to learn. So. If you have a situation like this, then just try chill out, deep breaths, go find somewhere quieter in your house if you can, like this room, we'll see my room's there, this room's the other end of the house, because there's the window that gives me light, so I'm not completely dark on these pictures, on these videos. So that's my mum's sewing room, by the way, in case you're wondering. So I might go in there a bit later, just to get away from some of the noise, or just put some headphones in. Some, what is the dog doing? He's making noises. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, I'm gonna try to find a different way to study today. And I keep wanting to look at the camera, at the actual screen. I don't know if he's trapped himself, hold on. You no, you've not trapped yourself, have you dog? No, good, okay. Stupid animal. So yeah, I might go a different room or just put some headphones in with uh, some white noise music or something like that just to just to distract or just to black out, black out, block out the background noise from my neighbours because they have no respect. That's something I just want to say is if you are in a joined house or even in a terraced house, one in like where well, there's a house either side of you, have a bit of respect for your neighbours. You know, they're occasionally going to make noise, you can put up with that. But when the child every night is screaming at two in the morning, and your response to it, or parents' response to it, is to get up, scream, and shout your fucking head off, I will call the police soon. Anyway, tangent aside. Find a different way to learn. So, I've done a bit today. Excuse me. Um, yeah, just been going over the um, Hedagana cat characters that's something i want to say i've heard it pronounced differently like i've heard it pronounced hiragana and hiragana now i guess it could be pronounced both ways but i don't know which one's correct so if any of you know is it one hiragana or two hiragana i'd be quite quite interested to know which is the correct correct pronunciation I have no idea what that dog is doing. He's doing. I'm gonna have to, I think he's got a toy stuck under the chair, so I have to go get it for him soon. But something I also want to say is use the language you're learning, even if it's not in the correct context. Get used to the words. I have a cup of tea with me today in a Starbucks cup. Ocha, tea. I know it refers to Japanese green tea, or traditionally in refers to Japanese green tea. But I know that, so if I say ocha, tea, it is, it's a cup of tea. But it starts you using the words you're learning, and that, now when I think tea, or I have a cup of tea, I'll go, ah, 
Ocha. Is it Ocha? O Ocha? O o -C -H -A. I haven't got the pronunciation correct, that's something I'm going to learn today. So start actually using what you're learning, even if it's little bits. I, um, at the beginning of this video I said Konnichiwa, hello. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe you learn the word for knife and fork or anything like that. When you Or kettle, I don't know what any of these words are in Japanese, but if you go make a cup of tea, ah, you pick up the kettle, what is it? You say it, it puts that into your mind and locks it in tea or cha so it just gets it's a bit like the flashcard principle like you look at the character say it quickly turn over if you're correct see if you're correct it's a bit like that it locks it into memory it's like um when you're learning the characters as well um some of the app i mentioned memorize is doing is giving you like um it will show you the character and then underneath we'll have an image of something that kind of looks like the character. So one of them, um, what was it? To, T-O, is like a little, I guess that's the wrong way around on, <laughs> on the camera. On paper anyway, it'd be, there's like a little um, bit there and then there, to. And it looks like a toe with a thorn in it. You think toe, to, toe, kind of the similar. Um, there's, lo there's loads of them, but if you can find ones that help you better, then use them, even if they sound stupid. Like, um, there's one of them for uh, a nun, or it was, um, oh, I only learned them today, so they're not stuck in my memory probably. I think it was na, N-A. Um, is it? No, I'm pretty sure. Or something like that, but it's uh, none. Yeah, because it said naughty none. Or was it no? No. Hmm. I think it's nah. But the characters, if you sort of drew like a nun praying and a cross, it looks like the character nah. I think it's nah. And that will hopefully eventually get stuck in my mind. I might come up with something better. Something more that I can remember. But these are actually really, really good. And, uh... <laughs> I get distracted by watching the traffic out the window, because you get bored in the fens. You mainly see a lot of tractors, farm vehicles. Because I live out of the city, I'm like, um... In a little rural area. It was, no, rural's built up, isn't it? Outback. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best way I can describe it. If you live in the UK, you'll know what the fens is. It's all the little farmland areas. Which is quite surprising why I have noisy fucking neighbours, because normally in the fens it's fairly quiet for people. You're nice and relaxed. But before I go, I just want to say, whatever your motivation is to learn Japanese, because you're going to get burnt out. I kind of felt it this morning, because you sometimes feel like you're, for like you're forcing yourself to learn. Don't. Don't force yourself to learn. If you want to learn, you're going to learn. I look really tired. I am really tired. I don't sleep well. But yeah, if you if you want to learn, you will learn. If you make it enjoyable, you know, have fun whilst you're learning, whether that's music related, like you get a audio CD, CD that helps you, or you get up and do some crazy movement for one of the characters because it looks like a man doing karate, you know. And as you do it, you shout the character. That will get stuck in your mind. So, have fun whilst you're learning. And, uh... Yeah, use use what you're learning as well. I'm going to start doing that more. I, I woke up today, and I was like, hmm. I learned what Ocha was yesterday. So I was like, well, I might as well use it all today. Like, because I drink any British, like any good British person, you drink tea non-stop. So... That is pretty, I don't even drink, well, I know water goes in tea, but, you know, just plain water. I just have tea all day. Or ocha. Again, I know it's the wrong context, or wrong type of tea. But it gets you using, using what you're learning. So, yeah, that's going to be day three, or sun. 
Sun is three. Itchy knee. Sun. Yeah. Sun. So that'd be three. So. Yeah. Use it. And have fun. And I will see you tomorrow. But I don't know how I haven't slept in. Because I'm very tired. Anyway. Sayonara.